mostly cloudy here today, although I wouldn't be surprised if it's snowing like crazy further north. And what did I read today? There seemed to be some kind of theme. I was expecting just to read things like CES news, but apparently there's people getting, I guess, in trouble or arrested for, let's just say, reporting about what's going on. How about this first one, where apparently somebody published video of a drone attack, and because of that, he got in trouble. He wasn't flying the drone or anything like that. It's basically capturing what's going on. It says here, SBU NAB's blogger for publishing video of Russian drone attack. The SBU exposed a quote blogger who uploaded a video of an attack by enemy drones on Kimmelland Skill on January 5th. The statement reads, the city council noted that the suspect filmed Russian drones flying over the residential areas of the city and posted the video in real time, revealing the area in question on a local telegram channel. After a few minutes, the video was picked up by the Russian platforms. The city council emphasized a strict ban on posting photos or videos showing the consequences of Russian missile and drone strikes and air defense capabilities in action. The publication equates to spotting enemy fire, which is punishable by up to 12 years in prison. As Ukraine Forum reported earlier, Ukraine Air Defense Forces shot down two Shahed type one way attack drones, including one over Kemalevsky region. That's just kind of crazy to think about, huh? Again, it doesn't sound like the person was flying like a drone or anything like that. It's just recording what's going on. Can you imagine that here, for example? Just taping the situation, publishing it in social media, and all of a sudden you get, let's just say, in trouble, fined, arrested, or whatever for doing that? That's kind of crazy. It's almost the equivalent of saying you're not even allowed to talk about this topic. If you do, you'll get in trouble. That's kind of crazy. Although with that in mind, I guess the theme of, let's just say, people reporting on what's going on are apparently getting, I guess, attacked, if that's what you want to say anyways, because apparently, at first I was wondering, why is this trending? Things like the RCMP arrested. Apparently, this is going big here in Canada, where it seemed like there was this news organization that was questioning the finance minister. And because of that, I guess you could imagine politicians and stuff, they usually want to avoid questions like out in the public. But in this case, it seems like there was it's either a police officer or a private security guy. It looked like he intentionally got in the way of the reporter, then accused the reporter of, I guess, assaulting him, and then he arrested him. Like, wow, this is crazy. Like, there's a video of it, too. Ms. Freeland, how come the IRDC is not a terrorist group? Why is your government supporting Islamo nationalism? What? What are you doing? You're under arrest for assault. Why are you pushing me? You're under arrest for assault. You're under arrest for assault. Please. Police, you're under arrest for assault. How am I under arrest? You bumped into me. You pushed into me. You bumped I was just scrubbing with you. I've got my credentials here and you just bumped into me. So excuse me. Police, you're under arrest. What is your name in your bag? What is your name in your badge? You've been told you're under arrest. Why am I under arrest? I'm a, I'm a police officer. You're under arrest. What is your name in your badge? I'm assaulting a police officer. How is that possible? Okay. Because you assaulted me three years ago when blackface You mean I was asking questions aggressively? No, no, your actions were. You were almost pushing everybody over. Okay, Lincoln, you got this on video, right? He's saying I'm pushing people over. Yeah, that, that, that's an absolute that's falsehood. There were, there were feet were shuffling. So now it appeared assault? that way. That's what you're saying, officer. Well, it appeared that was I pushing saw. people. Well, I wasn't. I, I didn't saw. touch a single person. Okay, that was a little bit aggressive for what was happening. Get that. You got it. Got, you're under arrest. Please okay. take the microphone out of my face. Well, okay, I, I'd like a, I'd like so an ongoing you, record of this. Can I have the microphone? Can I have the microphone? Can I have the microphone? I was watching it a few times afterwards, trying to see, okay, what exactly happened. It seemed like when you really look at it, the reporter was, again, I guess, trying to hound that finance minister to answer some questions. And it seemed like she specifically went on that path. It's almost like a basketball game. You know how when people create, for example, like a screen, that's what they call it. Like you have the players running and then all of a sudden the person runs there and stands there hoping you run into them. Like that's what it seems like to me. But at the same time, it seems like this, let's just call him for now, like this police officer, he actually puts his hand out. It's almost like he intentionally 
wanting to get hit, but everything's on camera. You can see how aggressive he got afterwards. And I was thinking too, even if this guy isn't, let's just say, an official police officer or RCMP, like he's some private security guy or something like that, the fact that the police actually arrested the reporter, wouldn't that cause, I guess, a lot of issues as well, especially with all this evidence with the video and stuff like that? It also raises that other, I guess, topic, which is interesting. Remember that one where they're saying here in Vancouver, they want to start using body cameras on police officers. So let's imagine in this case, there's an authority figure, for example, they don't turn on the camera right away. They do it afterwards, like once something like this happens, that would be an example. How would you avoid in a situation like this if someone could just be, quote, selective on what they want to show? I would think there you have to start that thing right away so that everyone can get the complete picture of what happened in the situation. As well, it makes me wonder too, just by looking at this situation, it doesn't seem like it's this guy's first rodeo in terms of like doing this tactic. Like, hey, you bumped into me, it's assault, I'm arresting you. It seems like from this anyways, it's been done like a few times possibly to other people. So it made me wonder how many more other people have there been that got quote arrested in this way. And from what I gather, even from the video, it doesn't sound like the reporter was doing anything wrong. And sure enough, he was released without charges. That's another thing too, is this technicality where you know the guy did nothing wrong, but you just want to get him off the area? Can he actually get, for example, compensation or something like that because of this? But that other way, that is ridiculous from what I've seen here. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually goes international, even though it's here in Canada and so forth. Just the fact that there is a video of this. Although in catching up with the CS 2024 stuff, there wasn't much in terms of, let's just say, things like consumer drones and all that. I did read some though, like this one here says what? Yellow Scan enters the bathymetric market with its bathymetric LiDAR system, the Yellow Scan Navigator. This new solution conducts bathymetric measurements in shallow waters and is rapidly deployable on a UAV. And as they say in the site, I guess its intention is for exploring underwater and ground topography with a single button operation. Its lightweight design allows for versatile platform selection without compromising water penetration. So again, this is for things like land surveys and so forth. Not exactly something I guess a regular person could use, but it would be something I guess more organizations, businesses, officials, they would use something like this, I would imagine. And then there was another one here that says, Pablo Air unveils innovative versatile drone FB04 at CES 2024. There actually wasn't much actually when I was looking online for some information about this, but in general, it sounds like they specialize in drone swarms, platforms and all that to manage it. For example, they say things like specializing in fireworks drone shows. And as well, they say this developed entirely domestic technology that incorporates key components and solutions, enabling precise formation flights and designed for dynamic maneuvers with swift mobility. Usually when I hear drone swarms and stuff, I'm still thinking of military applications and stuff like that. But again, there wasn't that much actually in terms of, I guess, consumer drones or anything like that. I guess it's one of those things where a lot of companies, they just decided to focus more on enterprise solutions or some people going more towards military applications because that's where the money is, I guess, huh?
Alright, see you guys later.